Welcome back to Goomba Life Designs. It's Astori. And today I'm just going to jump right into it. You see all these sticker books. Here's where I've got my planners. Today I am so excited to be participating in the 2020 stickering challenge with a bunch of other ladies that I have their videos uh, linked down in the description box below. So make sure you go check out all of them. And when you do, tell them that I sent you. Make sure you let them know where you get got there from. If you're coming from one of their videos, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. I hope you will subscribe and stick around. I have so much more to share with you. Now, I had made a decision for 2020 not to use so many stickers in my planner. So this is going to be an interesting challenge. If you don't know what the challenge is, we are being challenged by um, Jasmine and... Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, and of course, as soon as I start the video, the actual names are escaping me, but I will slide the names across the screen here, and they'll also be linked in the description box below, but they are the mastermind behind this challenge, and we are challenged to use 30 or more stickers in our spread this week. So, we're going to see, because y'all know I'm using the Hobonichi Weeks for my planner this year. So 30 stickers is a lot to put in this little space. So we're going to see what, I, um, what I'm able to get with here. I've only got a few sticker books. I don't tend to buy sticker books. I generally buy printable stickers, but they're like a whole weekly kit. So I use most of them. Um, but I do have a few. I have these two from Hobby Lobby, the LOL um, line. And I got this one mostly for the chocolate girls that are in there. Um, and then this one just had, it's more seasonal. And then I've got the rainbow sticker pack. This is like the old, old. I've had this for a couple of years and I've barely used it. Okay, so there you go. Then I have this wellness sticker book. I got this one from Walmart. Um, the journaling sticker book. Another planner babe actually gave me that one. I have the memory keeping one. Uh, this is the memory keeping dates and holidays and then this is the memory planning I don't know if it has like a certain name, but this is the big because <laughs> I Thought I was gonna be memory planning and the big happy planner, but um Yeah for two years now that hasn't worked out. So anywho Those are the sticker books that I have. This is um, What I have my planners in right now. This is just a clear planner cover that I made when I was using the b6 size um yeah I didn't like get the vinyl right so it's sticking together so my uh <laughs> shaker part isn't really working out very well but anyways I got this beautiful wallet um type insert from oh my goodness I can't remember the shop name so again I'll put it across the screen and it'll be linked in the description box below but this is an insert that she sews and it's gorgeous it's got the pocket zipper pocket here and it's made for the b6 size and i really really wanted to make sure that i had a wallet for this planner but i didn't i don't like sewing the covers with the wallet with the uh, not the wallet with the pockets in it so i was like you know what i already have this made i'm just gonna stick this in here it's a little cumbersome but it works for me for now my whole goal is to not try to think about spending a whole bunch of money or making it difficult. I just want to plan and make my life a little bit easier. Also, it's a little bright. The sun is coming right through the window for, with the evening sunshine. So if it gets a little bit too much, I'll probably switch it up. But So anyway, this is my Hobonichi Mega, my Hobonichi Weeks Mega that I just made a um, clear cover for out of, <laughs> out of a sheet protector believe it or not um and then I just have some craft paper that I stuck inside of there so I'm gonna pull this out this is my business one but I'm gonna pull this out get to my week and get started
Okay, guys, this is it. I actually ended up with a spread that I liked. I didn't think that I was going to like having a whole bunch of stickers on the page. But keeping it black and white actually helped me have a layout that wasn't so busy and more my style. If you see some of my other pages, other than like the one for New Year, they're pretty much just washy and that's about it. Um, New Year went a little bit further. I wanted to do gold and yeah, but um, if you watched my previous video of my walkthrough of my 2019 Hobonichi Weeks, you saw that towards the end of the year, all I really did was doing was washi and maybe a couple of date covers. Um, so I took a few stickers and kind of made them my own. And this is something that I would suggest to anyone. If you're like me, trying some more stick to a budget and not buy all the things. Um, I took some stickers from the bullet journaling, um, planner, uh, not planner, um, sticker book. And I just cut them down. So they're not even, they're not perfect, but I don't mind. I know what day it is. So that's all that matters. And then I just put these transparent stickers from the memory planning book and then um, a couple more from the bullet journal book. Um, I don't normally check the weather, but I thought that it would be nice in this layout. I normally do a to-do section, but I don't use up all this space. So I figured this would work. And actually, you know what? I'm going to throw one more sticker on there because I want to put my zone for the week. I do zone cleaning, which in a future video, I will um, talk a little bit about how I set that up. So let's see. There's not really like a cleaning sticker in here. There's a laundry one. And a grocery basket. These icons have been like really awesome though. Because I just, I don't like busyness. I'm, I'm getting really boring. The more that I get into planning, I'm just really boring. So let's see. Um, I'll just do this little comment or not comment, um, conversation box with the heart in it. Because I like to think about the cleaning as something that I'm doing from the heart with love to keep my house organized. Because I actually don't like cleaning. It's not. It's my least favorite thing to do. So anyway... So these are the basics. Um, I don't really need a lot of space because I don't write details in here. Um, I know sort of my general plans for the week. Um, and anything big, that's what I write in. My daily schedule, if I have something that I want to like schedule for the day, I'll use one of these that I just created um, that has an hourly on one side and then a to-do list on the other side. And... Um, I kind of want to cover up some of this. As you'll see from this one, I just sort of fill out what I have going on as I want to use it. Um, this I was just practicing. Um, so if I do have anything that's at a certain time, I mean, I will write the time here, but I'll also put it in here because I work from home. I am homeschool mom. I also have a job, a part-time job outside of the home. So um, there may be days when I have to work during the morning outside of the house but then I'm home the rest of the day, so I want to write in, okay, what am I going to do at this time? What am I going to do at this time? So that I can make sure I'm getting everything done that I need to get done. So if I have anything specific, I will washi this to my divider here, and this will be in my week. And this will include business and personal tasks, um, because I also have the business uh, Hobonichi that I don't want to have to open both of them all the time. So sometimes I'll just have just this sitting on my desk as I'm working. So that's that. Um, so yeah, I am going to write my exercises that I do for the week. Um, I have a few things like this is going to be my work schedule and to turn in my timesheet, um, some appointments for my husband, my son and I are going to go to the symphony next week. Um, and I'm, I normally try to meal plan on Monday and my son has an appointment. So that's just, that's it. I keep it really, really simple. Like I said, as far as like my daily schedule, I have that kind of written in the back, like what I want to do every day. Hopefully I get it done. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's see, let's count out the stickers here. Obviously this is seven plus another seven. That's 14, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Yes, 37 stickers. I thought I was going to use more, but this worked out really well. I also want to encourage you. Like I said, use up your stickers the best way you can. This said, this was a quote from a sheet that I have of stickers from, and now I can't find what I did with the sheet. Oh, here it is. I had the, uh, one of the, I don't even know what it's called, the fitness sticker book, but I realized I wasn't going to use it. So in one of my planner meetups, I gave away most of the book and I just kept a couple of sheets. I really liked the quotes page. So I kept that. I was originally going to try this workout, but it didn't fit. So this was the quote. It said, sweat now, shine later. I don't really care about the rest of it. I just wanted that. But I'm mad because I realized later that, uh, not this one, the wellness book had an exercise label sticker in it. But that's fine. It'll be something for me to use another time. Um, yeah, up here. So, but that's all right. It worked out. Just an example, like I said, of just using what you have and making it work for what you want it to work for. I took this sticker from the bullet journaling book. It's supposed to go this way, but it worked out for me to do my to-dos. Um, so yeah. Anything that I can link will be linked in the description box below. Again, make sure you check out the other ladies. I have them all linked below. Check out their videos. Like, their, like them, comment, let them know what you think. And again, if you are coming to me first, please let them know that I sent you. Enjoy all these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be on the lookout for a walkthrough of my new planners. Um, what I'm going to do is probably do one video for each planner just to keep it kind of short and sweet. And if you're interested in a particular planner, you can see that one. Um, I think that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what um, you have going on this week. And do you like to use stickers? Do you not like to use stickers? What's your planner style? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit it with the like. Subscribe to the channel if you're really into planning, especially planning on a budget. That is my thing. I don't like to spend a lot of money for anything if I don't have to. So um, please stick around if you want to see how I make planning affordable but still fun. Um, and if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell so you can always get notifications when I post a new video. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.